Hi, this is Jim, director of tennis at the club, and I'm here on my street to do another video to try to help you. We're gonna do something that's really exciting, which is we're gonna do a progression of things that can help your kids to get better, especially little kids, to get better and get closer and closer to be able to rally back and forth. All right, so let's get right to it. So I happen to have a foam ball. You could use a tennis ball. Any ball that you have is just fine. The bigger, generally the better, okay? And I drew a little circle here. If you have a spot or something like that, you can use that. And all we're gonna do first is real simple hand-eye coordination drill, which is we're gonna drop and catch. Drop and catch. Obviously, if the kid is very little, drop and catch. Drop and catch. Not throwing down like that, but drop and catch. So let's see if, you know, you're kid can do 10 of these. That would be great. Maybe it's really easy for them. If they progress, maybe it's very challenging. It's okay. Okay, for this next exercise, I have my favorite person in the world to help me, Gretchen. <laughs> all right. All right. right, what we're gonna do now is all we're gonna do is we're gonna toss the ball back and forth and it's gonna bounce in the circle if we can do it. Um, and we're just gonna do some repetitions here. So, ready? Yep. Toss in the circle, catch. Toss in the circle catch. Palm up when you do it. You can do it with one hand or two. Oh. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so I don't have a, a net here at home. I only have a few tennis balls. I have an old, old racket. I, when I left the club for the last time, I did not look at my global pandemic handbook and what to bring home during this so I kind of screwed up in that way but we'll do the best we can the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do bump ups pretty simple so in this case I'm gonna have my palm somewhat up and I'm just gonna be bumping the ball up this is definitely a challenge for lots of kids and adults not easy I challenge the adults to do these things too okay now when you get good at this what you can do is you can do now knuckles up. You can see my knuckles are up and I'm trying to keep the ball in the same spot over and over again. Now, if you get really ambitious, you can do it like this. And then knuckles up, palm up, knuckles up. I think we saw this in George's video a couple days ago, okay? This is a skill that's great for volleys, and for little kids, it's good for everything, okay? And as George said, you wanna have a continental grip if you can, but for little kids, it doesn't really matter very much. The next progression is that you're gonna bump the ball up and then hit the ball forward. Now, the key here is, and the problem that a lot of kids have is they bump the ball up and they bump the ball way too hard forward. And when we're trying to get to a progression of being able to rally, that really won't be effective. So what you want to do is just bump the ball up and then just hit the ball a little bit. Now that was actually too far. Let me try it again. You're going to try to let it bounce, Gretchen? Yep. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to bump the ball up and then I'm just going to hit it there. She's going to grab it and toss it back to me. I'm going to bump the ball up. Ooh, that hit a... A uh, little. <laughs> we need to work a little bit on our uh, on our Let's roads here in Natick. Let's make a pitch to the town of Natick right now for the quality of our roads. Bump the ball up, hit it, let it bounce. Good. Let's do it again. One more time. Bump the ball up and hit it forward. Great. All right. The next progression is simply bump up and bump it forward to your partner. Obviously, you don't have a partner, we'll have a solution for that, okay? But here we go. Bump up, bump forward. Bump up, bump forward. See, she bumped it up a little, she bumped it forward a little bit too hard, and that is the thing that happens a lot. You wanna bump it up and then just bump it a little forward, and that's how you get control of, of the ball. Bump up, bump forward, bump up. We also have, we are, on Hillside Road here at Natick. So we have a hill here, so it makes it a little bit harder. All right, bump up, 
bump forward. You also, got it. You got it. I am completely. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> All right. So here's an, a variation that you can do if your child has to be outside just alone uh, because you have to make dinner or you have to work or you have that Netflix show that you just have to finish or let's be honest, once in a blue moon, you just need to be away from your kids. We love our kids, I know that. But here's what you do. You bump up and then you bump it against the garage door. So we're gonna bump up and then bump it against the garage door, bump up. As I said, we don't have a net. This is our net. It actually says net right here. Okay? So we're gonna hit the ball over the net right now. And we're just gonna rally. it. Good, now we have control because we practiced bumping the ball up. And we want a lot of height on these balls. Oh. Right? Hitting the ball nice and high and soft. Nice. Bumping up. Keep it car. So we're really not trying to do much with the ball. We're just hitting the ball up, and it can be forehands or backhands. I was doing mostly forehands in this. And there you have it. If you do all these progressions, your kids will be awesome tennis players. And I want to see if you can do them too. Send me a video of your kids doing this. I'll shave this awful beard. Please! Stay safe. We'll see you next time.